Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into an exciting topic, creating a chart using the wrapped function in Excel. This unique te uh, technique allows us to visualize data in a creative way. So let's jump right now. And you can see that I have created the, the subject line of uh, this video is how to create a chart without using chart. So just because of that, I have used this subject line, how to create a chart without using chart because we are using wrapped function in order to create a chart. We are not going to using this functionality. If you go to the insert, you can see here recommended chart, bar chart, pie chart. There are multiple chart option over here, but we are not going to use any one of them. So first of all, we need some data in order to create chart. So I will just type here like sale and I will generate some random data over here. Like I want to create 10 to 50 and it will generate the data between 10 to uh, 10 to between 10 to 15 randomly it will generate after that i need to just uh, what i need to, i will change the alignment and uh, i need to just change the format of this chart not chart but i just need to convert it into value as number okay so here i will create the chart one so basically wrapped function how it will work type here wrapped and if you will just click on the chart wrapped function then you can see the description over here repeat text a given number of times use ref to fill a cell with a number of instance of text string right so i will show you in real time basically how it will work suppose i will type here like uh, b and number of times I will select this value, close the bracket. Then you can see here that 28 times it has repeated B. If I drag it here, 24 times has repeated B. Similar manner, if you drag it like this, then you can see that 50 times it has repeated B, 35 times it has repeated B. So we are going to use the same functionality in our chart. Right, let's delete it and use the wrapped function. So you have to just use some uh, symbol over here in order to create a chart right so I will use this pipe symbol over here then close it this is my text how many times I want to repeat it just select this text close it and press enter now you can see the chart over here and based upon the values the chart is increasing and decreasing so in order to but it's not looking good so what you need to do you need to select this area go to the home section and you need to go to the font function so here you can see the multiple fonts over here you can just hover over you hover your mouse and you can just press down arrow just like aerial rounded empty bold you can see the chart like this aerial unicode ms so i we just need to find out some bold values like right so you just keeps on uh, going down okay so this one britannic bold so this seems to be good seems to be good so just click ok so you can see that britannic bold we have choose the font now it is looking like a chart right okay okay so suppose we have some negative values over here 50 minus 12 minus 10 okay so we are getting values because ultimately it is a it is not a chart it is a function based upon the function we have just uh, manipulated it and we are uh, just changing it like a chart so what we in order to remove this uh, hash value what we need to do we need to use the if error function if we'll use the if error function then this is my value so what if if this value is error what i need to show i do not want to show anything you you can you can use these double quotes and enter and you just need to drag it like this now you can see that the, all the values has been gone suppose we need to just uh, create the similar kind of chart but based upon the negative values in this particular section so what we can do we can first of all we need to just uh, find out that uh, where is my negative values are right we can if you will use the same functionality over here then it will create the similar kind of chart but we want to create uh, this kind of chart where we have the negative values so first of all we need to find out the negative values so what you can do then you can press s equal to select this if it is less than zero okay it is not less than zero it is greater than zero 
double click over here so you can see that wherever we have the values which is greater than zero so it is showing the true values otherwise it is going the uh, showing the false values so what i need to do we need to just wherever we are getting the false value we need to just hide them so what we can do we can use the if this value equal to false then do nothing the i don't want any value if it is true then show this value simple because this value is greater than zero because it is basically a false value okay so then we don't want to show anything over here if it is something if it is greater than zero then we want to show this value okay double click over here now you can see that all the values are here all the negative values are here but we cannot create chart based upon this we need to just convert it in a positive manner so we will use the absolute function we use the abs function okay and surround surround this if area with this abs open bracket and close bracket and that's all double click over here now you can see that all the values are positive over here now minus values converted to the positive so again here we have the uh, error so we have already used the if error function so if this value if this value is equal to error then i want to don't want to show anything double click over uh, and to press enter now you can see that all the positive values are here so now we can use our wrapped function if you are wrapped what text you want to show here i want this uh, pipe symbol over here comma number of times this value return the number of times how many times you will return this value will give me that number right close the bracket press enter again i am getting the values so now you can see that if you will just increase it so wherever wherever uh, in in wherever we have the minus values it is just creating this pipe symbol but otherwise it is showing the hash value so what you can do that you can you can use the if error function if this value is equal to error then don't want to show anything okay drag this function like this now i can see that wherever we have the minus value it is showing this okay so again this area is selected go to the home section you again need to use that britannic bolts right and what we will do that we will change the i will change the color because it's a negative value so i will just change the color the red and this is the positive values i will change the color to green okay so now it's looking good but it is the it is in a left alignment this value so what can i do i can just click here and i can click this align right and now it is looking good okay, let me delete this section and this is my chart i will use a thick border over here uh, where is my thick border this is my thick border and i will go to the view section and remove the grid lines okay and uh, this section what can i do i can just align like this chart with negative values these are the negative values and this chart shows the positive values so in this way you can create the using wrapped function you can create the chart if you have this kind of use case where you do not want to use this uh, normal chart you can use your own customer uh, customized chart right so if you have if you are so basically when you will create the dashboard and if uh, based upon the values you want to show the graphs suppose if there is nothing then nothing will no bar will appear here there if there is a value then the bar will show there in this uh, way you can just uh, just this create this wrapped function right so i hope you would like this video thank you for watching have a nice day